because he was using emotions to blackmail me. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yes. <laughs> Why would you say that? I never blackmailed then, you. Oh, on like the I... sit week, okay. your nose became big. Oh my god. Girl, when I wake up in the morning, I turn on the light, I see your nose, your nose is like, <laughs> I'm pregnant. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Riri and this is my husband. Papa Louis. Oh, okay. Oh, Ooh, okay. Well, since you want to call yourself Papa Louis, I'm, I'm going to call myself Mama Louis, Mama Riri. Anyway, so... Why are you trying our, to copy me? I'm not trying to copy you. Anyway, continue. Um, so, in our last video, Louis shared his experience, yeah, yeah. his pregnancy journey, was, as if... He was pregnant. I was pregnant. As if he experienced anyway, the real... Anyway, today's about you, so I'm not going to talk. Yeah, Just yeah. So, so don't interrupt me. Thank you. Yeah, as if he went through anything at all. I mean, I was the one that was carrying the baby. I felt all the movement and the kicks and the really painful kicks. So I don't know what you were talking about in your last video. But anyway... Freedom of speech, right? Everybody gets to share their opinion. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so f I would say my journey, I always, whenever someone asks me that question, like how was your pregnancy, you got pregnancy journey? How are you feeling? How are you going? Are you feeling okay? And this was my response. I'm like, oh, it's amazing. It's great. Like, I don't know what people are talking about online on tiktok why are people saying they are feeling this and fatigue and like throwing up all the time i know i know everyone experiences pregnancy like differently and everyone has different symptoms and what they go through but i had no no symptoms i didn't have any nausea i didn't have morning sickness i didn't have any fatigue yeah. i was on my feet like doing hair i was braiding hair in the house up until like well eight months yeah eight months yeah i was on my feet doing box braids for you were doing hours. box braids when you were 34 weeks 34 weeks right yeah i what? was on my feet for hours and hours and hours like i didn't feel any fatigue like i was just it was like a breeze it was like really smooth for me the only thing that was not the best was the acid reflux yeah. and the heartburns and that was so bad that was the only thing that i couldn't stand but aside from that i never threw up once um, oh, oh i did yeah. have food aversion though like sometimes when i drink i would like throw up a little bit well of the, that's of the that's because well, that's, you you eat so fast oh yeah and that happens that. Be, even before pregnancy you that eat was so happening. fast yeah you oh, eat yeah, so true. fast and your body can't just take the speed so mm. anyway yeah continue it's your experience yeah, so, so tell me. food aversion a bit of acid reflux but that was it so the the journey was a little bit boring it was boring it was a bit but, boring but <laughs> because, because the last three weeks the last three weeks the last three weeks what happened in the last you three went weeks? through a very like drastic change if you three weeks are the last week the I don't last know. week i know i know it's one of the last weeks yeah you went through like a drastic change but what i observed is oh yeah the on your 36th last... week okay. your nose became big oh my god <laughs> 36th week your Thank nose you. gave you away wow really? became big like when I walk out with you, your nose is like, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant, oh I'm pregnant. Oh my God. Why didn't you say that then? I would have stayed home. I don't want to crash your ego. Um, I'd always ask you, babe, is my nose big? Of to course. Like, what do you want me no, to say? No, it looks normal. No, it was all good. But 37, 36, 37 weeks, it was big. It was really big. <laughs> mm. Anyway, let's continue. Oh my god. Am I crashing your emotions now? Because your nose is back to yeah. normal. Yeah. Yeah, it's back to normal. But, girl, when I wake up in the morning, I nose. turn on the light, I see your nose. Your nose is like, <laughs> I'm pregnant. And your 
your feet became swollen. Oh yeah, my yeah. My last was it like the last? It was after the weeks? 34th week when you did the boss braid. That was when oh, you started yeah. saying I'm feeling some pain in my feet. Right oh, after yeah. then, it started becoming big, big, big. Yeah. Big. yeah, yeah. I had really bad swollen feet. Mm. Well, not feet. My whole leg up to my knees was swollen. So my yeah. foot. All the way up to my knees. Me, I'm, swollen. I'm an observant. Pain. Husband. None of my shoes fit. I couldn't wear any of my shoes. I know. It was bad. Yeah. That then, was towards the end. Then the I'll whole... tell you another thing. 38 weeks. Me, I record everything. Okay. What happened you, you were just emotionally enjoying your pregnancy. I'm rationally. Rational. Just observing you. Okay. And what 38 happened? 38 weeks. Yeah. You woke up one morning with stretch marks on your tummy. Oh yeah! Oh my god! The, I had no stretch marks the whole pregnancy. And I was always like admiring my tummy. Oh my god, my tummy is so smooth. I was taking pictures. I was sending pictures to my friend like, <laughs> my stomach is so smooth. No stretch marks. Up until 38 weeks. Up until like the last two weeks. Why? Why now let me give you another like one. That? Another Except observation. I almost got away. I almost got Another away. Another observation. It shocked me. I was The so last sad. days of the 38 weeks. The last day. Last days. Okay. Like, I think maybe 37 weeks, five days there about. Mm -hmm. Your tummy became very black. Ah, why are you why <laughs> 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 because you're you always because things? you're always telling people it was cozy it was, nah man, it wasn't the from 34 weeks to it was it your the last day i was observing you 34 weeks you did the final box braid it came your leg was so swollen we had to give you foot massage put your yeah. leg in the spa thing mm -hmm. then um we thought it was gonna work but it mm -hmm. became bigger and bigger you had stretch marks, you had black, your stomach became very darker, it was mm -hmm. black, your face was light, tummy is black. That was when and you started. And my face was dark as well, it went pretty yeah. dark. Yeah. Yeah. Then let me drop the last one. Don't break my heart. 32 weeks. 32? 32 is. This girl wants to buy a can of Milo. Ghanaians will say Milo. She literally takes Milo, that can of Milo, five days, finish. Who was counting the days? I did. Why were you counting the days? So did one day what I did was to I took the can of Milo and I hid it. She didn't ask me where was the can <laughs> of Milo. But she knew what she was doing. And do you know what? The moment you come and you start screaming and yelling she start crying so what, what can you do you just have to observe and validate her emotions emotionally sympathize with her offer some help and words of encouragement i went to hide this kind of milo sister came the next day and put showed up with another kind of milo <laughs> then i had to threaten her if i see milo again i'll tell your mom Sister came out again with another strategy. She was buying sachets of Milo and she was hiding them. Because now it's no more a can, but a sachet of Milo. Tell me, how can you live like this like a pregnant woman? How can you have cravings like this? When you know sugar is bad for you. If you are craving, crave water. If you are craving, crave food, banku and okra soup. Why would you crave Milo? Please ask me. Ask her. Why are you craving Milo? You've taken over this video. This video was for me to express oh, and oh, share my oh. journey. You As a husband, you should be supportive. As a You've husband, you should be supportive. Over the video. Yeah. So, to sum it all up, yeah. the first eight months was a breeze. Except for the acid reflux, it was a breeze. Yeah. Um, and then like sleeping was a bit uncomfortable. You toss and turn, left, right, yeah. left, right. We bought you some pregnancy you me pillow. Pregnancy yeah. pillow. Show them, show them. Why? Show, show them. I, I think you should show them the pregnancy pillow. Why? I bought her pregnancy pillow. 
Why? What, what's it's wrong okay. with you? you it's okay. You're yeah, talking about your experience. Talk about your experience. But why are you talking about your experience? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Because men are bleeding. Anyway, continue. What happened to the pregnancy pillow? I used it, didn't I? <laughs> How many days? <laughs> continue, it's okay. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay so yeah the first eight months was a breeze it was cool i didn't stress yeah him. that one it's true i didn't do anything to give him a headache like i was a cool pregnant woman so next time i'm not going to be that cool because i felt like it didn't experience the hotness of oh my god woman. everybody so thank chill. god you just said this you are my witness oh you are my witness oh yeah, next time you're not gonna have it that easy. I'm because I know you are faking me, so I'll start faking. If you say babe, my head, me, I'll fall on the floor. Say, my tummy, my tummy, my tummy. You will all be sick. It. You will all be sick. If you say babe, I want to trap. I'll also fall on the floor. I want to collapse. Anyway, thank you so much for your time. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you. If share your experience down below. If any pregnant mamas out there, share your experience below. Yeah. And thank you for watching once again. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.